Right. Plain and simple. This a, a big angry black man who got put to death, who had all power, who got put to get death by by beings that are way weaker than him. You gonna feel some type of way. And on top of that, he's seeing the oppression of his people. How you think they make him feel? He angry. We gonna show you that. But. Hebrews 10 and 4, I'm show you that Christ is all throughout the Bible, which also proves, once again, you need the Old Testament. You need the both, both sides of the book, both sides of the coin. 10 and 7, read what you got. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 7. Come on. Then say, I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. I come what? In the volume of the book. Christ is all throughout this book, so it's prophecy, all right? Isaiah chapter 8. Verse uh, 14. I think it's either 14 or 12. You can jump down to either one. I'm going to show you something else. Did you go to church? I was um, I was actually in, trying to find a, trying to find a discovery like if I, would, if I should. But then um, as I went to some, I didn't like it. I didn't Good. You, if you will receive this, welcome home. If you will receive this, this is what you need to be in right here. This is the truth. No more lies. No more white man lies. The truth is here. Once you sip in this cup, you ain't going to be thirsty again. That's right. All right? right. So as our, our, our pastors are supposed to be the ones that do what for us, what are they supposed to be doing with us when we go to church? What are they supposed to be doing what? He's supposed to, how is he supposed to save us? With what? He's supposed to do what? Teach us. Teach us what? He's supposed to teach us about what? What in the Bible? Noah's Ark? Jesus wept? Clap. What's the what? All praise to the Most High. Isaiah chapter 8, verse. What is it? This testimony. 20. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. Come on. To the law and to the testimony. To the what? And to the testimony. The law is the testimony. Read on. If they speak not according to this word, if they do what? If they speak not according to this word, come on. It is because there is no light in them. Ain't no light in the Christian church. It's not but darkness and sin. There's no light in the Christian pastor because he's teaching you that you can break God's laws. That's right. He's not teaching you God's laws. Malachi, Malachi 2 and 7. Yeah. This is what the priest is supposed to be teaching you. The pastor is supposed to be the priest. That are uh, feeding Christ's sheep. And what are you supposed to feed Christ's sheep with? Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. Read you yep. This is the book of Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. Come on. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Should keep what? Should keep knowledge. So the priest's supposed to be teaching you knowledge. Knowledge of what? Knowledge of what? Knowledge of the sky? Knowledge of God. McDonald's? Knowledge of what? God. Knowledge of who? God, God and what? Good. Right. Read. Right. And they should seek the law. Seek the what? Seek the law. So if that man is not talking God's laws, you need to turn away from that. You need to run fast. Get the hell out of there. Right. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. At his what? At his mouth. So he's supposed to be teaching us God's laws. Ain't got no, none of God's laws is coming out of the Christian church. None of God's laws are coming out of the Christian church. You eat pork? You eat pork, brother? Yeah, I need to stop. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah. Or you're going to be put to death. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to die if you don't. Yeah, yeah, you dead, bro. Come back to what you are, a king. A king. You dead. He dead. Right. Uh, get, let's get Leviticus. Leviticus left. So we taught you about the Sabbath. Did we teach you about the Sabbath? Saturday. Let's get the, uh, 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 you know the scripture on it? Exodus 20. You, you know, we're going to show you. We're going to teach you the Sabbath day. We're going to teach you... How you supposed to eat, how you supposed to dress, how you supposed to conduct yourself as a God, as an Israelite man. That's how that's that's what the priest is supposed to be doing. The, the real priest, we right here. We right here. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Come on. Remember the Sabbath day. Why did the Bible say, remember the Sabbath day? Good, that's part of it, but the trick is already done. The trick is already done, so why is he so remember? Because we're going to do what? We're going to forget. We forget by celebrating our birthdays. We forget by celebrating Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving, uh, name it. We forget, that's how we forgot. God says, remember the Sabbath day. That's a holy day, holy, that's, you get the word holiday from holy day. Ain't nothing holy about Halloween. 
Who's only about dressing up as God knows what? Going to strangers' houses and asking for candy. What's, 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 what's godly about that? Nothing. Nothing. Ungodly as hell. Rewind. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So that means there's things that are required to do on the Sabbath day. So when we were going through earlier, nine times out of ten, when we get out of church, the first thing we want to do is go home or get something to eat and cook it. Defiling the Sabbath day. So we are. Six days shall thou, do, shall thou labor. So this is one aspect of it. No working. Rest. Chill on out. Kick your feet up. Relax your mind. The Sabbath day is for you to relax your mind from the oppression and the destruction that's going on in our people. It's depressing every time you cut on the news, somebody on somebody don't got body. That's, just, that is, that's depressing to hear about. It. Every time you cut the news on somebody dying or something bad happened. You know, and all, all praise to the Most High because that's his business. God, that with the matters of death, is with the Lord. But it's depressing. It's stressful on the mind. So God says, rest on the Sabbath day. Read on. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. Come on. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Come on. And it thou shalt do, thou shalt not do any work. Come on. Thou nor thy son, uh -huh. nor thy daughter, Come on. thy manservant, mm -hmm. nor thy maidservant, mm -hmm. nor thy cattle, mm -hmm. nor thy stranger. Come on. That is within thy gates. Nobody. Your kids, your dog, your cat. Uh, nobody is to be doing any work. Right. Nobody in your household. That means, guess what? Also, as a black man, you got to command your house. Right. That's another aspect about that. If you're not working, the wife ain't working. Right. The kids ain't working. Nobody working. We resting. That's part of commanding your house. Read right on. For in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth. Come on. The sea and all that is, that is, that in them is what? and rested the seventh day. God himself rested. God Almighty, that infinite power, He rested. So who are we not to? So that's one aspect of it. Now give me cooking. So that's one aspect the Lord wants you to rest. He wants you to seventh day, no work. You can get off, you got a job so that you that you that you don't have to work on the weekend. Good. Keep the Sabbath day. We're showing you how to keep it holy. They did say it again? You do work weekends? Okay. Well look. You know, you got to strive towards keeping God's laws, man. That overtime, that stuff, that, that, that's, this kingdom is falling, bro. That's, the, we, we look, we turn that dollar around. That's not our people on that. Give that back to them, man. They can hide that, bro. They can hide this world, bro. This, thing, this place is about to burn, bro, right. horribly. You don't need to be caught up in that. They can keep that. Don't, whatever with that, man. That's building their kingdom, bro. You need to build your kingdom. That's right. That's and right. you're going to do that on the Sabbath day. Stop building for the white men. They got everything and they took it from you. Right. Read what you got. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 16 and verse 23. Come on. And he said unto them, This is this is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Stop. Now I'm gonna stop you there because I'm gonna explain you exactly when the Sabbath comes in, right? So go to Genesis chapter 2. How does a day work? How do you know when it's daytime? How do you know when it's a new day? Sunrise. When the sunrise? That's what we've been taught. When you see the sun, it's a new day. That's what we've been taught, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you that was absolute bull. It was a lie. We have been deceived yet again by the white man. Yet again. So I'm gonna show you how God created days. What a day is. Give me Genesis chapter two and verse one. This is the book of of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 1. Come on. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. Come on. And all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended the work which he had made. Right. Now, my, my, excuse me, my apologies. Genesis 1 and verse 4. Read that. This is the book of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 4. Come on. And God saw the light that it was good. Come on. And God divided the light from the darkness. Come on. And God called the light day. He called what? The light day. Come on. And the darkness he called night. Come on. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So the evening and the morning were the first day. I want you to notice something. You hear about two concepts. You heard about night and you heard about day, right? Is that what it says? Read it again. And, the, and God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So you hear about day, and you hear about night. 
But watch this. The sun and the moon weren't created yet. So how are you getting light to call it a day? Right, 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 exactly. So God, when he created things, it was in the darkness. A day was created in the darkness. Proverbs 7, 7 and 9. The day was created in the darkness. So when the sun sets, when it's dark, it's a new day. A white man told us at 12 a.m., it's a new day. But what if the sun sets at 9 o'clock? It's still 9 p.m. What the sun sets then? Is it a new day? According to God, yes. When the sun sets, it's a new day. Watch this. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 7 and verse 9. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. In the what? Black and dark night. In the what? Black and dark night. It said the evening, the black and dark night. So when the Lord created a day, a full day, when it went by, it was still dark. So a day begins sundown. So from sundown to sundown is one day. That's right. All right? So we're going to go back to Genesis chapter 2. So we're going to explain to you. So Friday night at sundown, no matter whether during the wintertime, whether it's 6, 7 o'clock, or during the summertime, whether it's 8, 9 o'clock, when that sun goes down, it's a new day. When it's 12, it's, when it's 12 a.m., the day has already been begun. It's due three, four hours into another new day. All right, you understand? Good, good. Watch this. Read it again. Genesis chapter 2, verse 1. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 1. Thus the heavens and earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, on the seventh day. God ended his work which he had made. Mm -hmm. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. Now, Nehemiah 13. Nehemiah 13 and 19. Show to expound on the point again of what we're talking about. The Sabbath day is Friday sundown. Meaning once sundown stops, starts, there's no more cooking, there's no more working. There's no buying, there's no selling. That's going into burning yourself, doing business. You have to do business, but it's going into burdens and it's breaking the Sabbath, all right? Night, Nehemiah 13 and 19. Come on. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 13 and verse 19. Come on. And it came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark. Began to be what? To be dark. Come on. Before the Sabbath. Before what? Before the Sabbath. Before what? Before the Sabbath. Come on. I commanded that the gates should be shut. It said it began to be what? Dark before when? The Sabbath. So when that sun sets on Friday, it is what? The Sabbath day. That's right. The Sabbath day. Good. Jeez. I'm going to show you something Jeez. else. I'm going to show you something else. So Rock 43. So Rock 43. Not that. No, 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 no. We're going to get you some more. We're going to get you some more laws. So that's the Sabbath. All right? So now we're going to go into apparel. How an how Israelite man is supposed to conduct themselves. So we showed you the law on the beard, right? We showed you the law on the beard. Let's show them the law on the beard real quick. 21 and 5. Wherever it grow in it, wherever your hair grows in it, don't destroy it. You know how brothers shave their hair bald once they start going, you know, seeing the hairline start going back, back, way back. Right. God says wherever it is, that's clean. Don't destroy it. Where the hair follicle grows in it, don't destroy it. Don't take a razor and shave it off. Don't do that. No parts of your hair. Don't do that. Lions keep their mane. That's How you right. tell a, a female lion from a male lion? The main, yeah, off the main. God says you are lying. You from the tribe, you so-called black man, you are from the tribe of Judah. That's, That's right. That's what you from. Christ comes from that tribe. That's right. The mightiest tribe, the tribe of Judah. That's I right. said it, the mightiest tribe. Read what you got. Leviticus, no, excuse me. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. Read that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. Now, I'm showing you this because why? When you're out in the world, you got to let your light shine. Meaning, brothers got to know you represent. Brothers got to know, how, you, how can you tell somebody works in a hospital? Oh, the scrubs, how can you tell somebody working in school? Oh, I mean, uh, at, the, at the firehouse. They got the suit on, a police officer. They, they got a uniform. Right. So this, we're going to teach you the uniform of an Israelite man. That's right. We're going to teach you, brother, too, the uniform of an Israelite man, because you are an Israelite according to the Bible. And this is for you. We out here for you. That's You're not right. straight. 
United States, because the same thing that is subject to both them Gene and, 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 uh, uh, and all the rest of uh, other brothers that got murdered is subject to you too. That's right. You are subject to the same sword. You're not good. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. Read that. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Bring it up. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Come on. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall they do what? Shave off the corner of their beard. Now brothers do that and they don't realize that. Trying to be like the white man. Baby face. Baby, baby, baby booty face. Right. We ain't doing that here. We don't do that here. We don't do that here in Israel. Keep that main, keep that main. Besides, you know, where, where they start uh, not too long ago? The beard gang uh, train. No, nah, that's always been the trend with the Israelites. That's right. That's what right, I right. said to do that. Right. We set the trends. Right. The world right. copies us, and then they try to emulate, but they can't do that like us. They can't. All right, so that's the beard. Now we're going to go to the... You got any tattoos? All right, can't get no more. No more tattoos. Leviticus 19. Why? The heathen does. That's a heathen custom. Right. The Egypt, ancient Egyptians used to do that to honor their dead. What's the first thing you do as soon as a homie die? What's the first thing? Oh, well, grandma, big mama, your mom. What's the first thing we're going to do? Right after, after the funeral, days go by. What's the first thing we're going to do? Get the name tatted. Get the cross. Get all of that. The Egyptians used to do that. That's an Egyptian custom. We are not Egyptians. We are not Hamites. Just because they black and we black don't mean all black people are the same. It's like how all white people, just because they look like, are the same. No. Skin pigmentation does not mean that you're the same race, the same seed. Right. That's mean right. the same thing. All right, so uh, Leviticus 19, get that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 28. Come on. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. I know it's a lot, but God requires a lot for the judges of the earth. You got to get this down so that when, when, when it's time, when it's time for the fishes to become hunters, and we take this world back, guess what we're going to be judging them off of? That's right. What you learning right now? Y'all better right. not be taking no hot pen and put some ink to your skin. I'm going to put some flame to your skin. That's right. I'm going to cut the cloud and cut the rain off. You ain't eating nothing. You break God's laws, but you got to learn it first. You have to learn it first. Read on. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks. Upon you, I am the Lord. I am what? I am the Lord. I said, don't do that. Because I'm your father. Don't do that. Let them do that. I don't care about them. Let them do it. You don't do that. That's what's going to make you separate and holy. That's right. That's what's going to make you holy. That's what makes you a God. Right? I keep saying that. Get that real quick. Hey, Psalms 82 and 6. Bring it up. I keep saying it. I keep saying it. I keep saying it. Because it's cliche with our people. We walk around with guys. I'm a pharaoh. I'm a king. I'm this. I'm this. I'm that. Right? But yet you bring your black behind the work 6 a.m. shot for the white man. Right. Right? Faithfully. 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 Read what you got. Psalms 82 and 6. This ain't my, I didn't write this. I did not write this. Read on. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. Read I have said, ye are God. Yeah, what? Ye are God. Yeah, what? Ye are God. Feel good, don't it? You are what? Ye are God. Say it with me. Ye are God. Say it with me. Ye are God. That's right. You are God, black man. You are God. And don't let nobody take this from you. That's right. Not the black woman, not the white man, nobody. You are God. Thus saith the Lord. That's right. I have said, ye are gods. And all of you are children of the most high. The Israelite men and women. Are the children of God. That's right. Read. But ye shall die like men. Why? Because of men, carnal men, like the rest of the nations, you do what they do, you're going to die just like them. That's right. I didn't make you to be like them. Right. I didn't make you, I didn't make you to die. You don't believe that? You don't believe God made it? Made, you, don't, you don't believe that? Yeah, you believe it? I don't think I've heard it. Wisdom of Solomon, too. We were created to be immortal, but you know what happened? You know what happened? That big, loud mouth black woman disobeyed. We got weak, we didn't check our woman. So God said, for that, you're gonna die. That's just right. like a man. 
So the objective is to get the black woman back in order. Because the black woman is out of order. That's right. You can't go nowhere on uh, social media without seeing a damn black woman shaking her ass. Nowhere. Nowhere. The black woman is all powerful in today in this earth, especially in America. Especially in America. It's your job to tame that. Right. It's your job to tame that. It's our job, black man, to tame that. It sounds good. It sounds good. Wisdom of Solomon 2, verse 24. The last, the, 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 verse 23. Yeah, read that. <clears throat> this is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, and verse 23. Come on. For God created man to be immortal. He created you to be immortal. Read. And made him to be an image of his own eternity. He made you in his image. He didn't make the other, image, uh, other nations in his image. He made you in his image. That's right. Holy hair. Right. Skin, skin as is burned in a furnace. Right. All powerful. The black man was all powerful. That's right. Everyone bowed before the black man. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.